we learned that Microsoft Office is deployed in three packages. We have the Microsoft Office Suite. Then we have Office 365 and we have Office Online. So Office is deployed in three packages and they all provide the same tools but in different ways. The Office Suite refers to the packages they have bundled to sell as standalone Office programs. So the Office Suite, you can actually buy it and install it. The Office Suite is deployed in a three-year interval. So when they released 2007, they released it again 2010. Then they released 2013 and they released 2016 and now we have the 2019. So the next time they will release will be when? Let me see which version I have. Watch my screen. What do you see? Excellent. I don't know about you but I'm using the latest office. On the latest computer all right the office 365 is also another way Microsoft releases its office programs now when we talk about office programs they are the same programs you know the only thing is that the method of deployment is different in Office 365. In Office 365, you don't buy, you subscribe. Let me put it that way. You subscribe to it and you pay a monthly fee. And once you subscribe to it, they hook you up to their main cloud server and you use a program from the source. And with Office 365, you receive updates in real time. Anytime the programs become better, you already have it because you are using it from the source. With a suite, you have to wait for the next release. And the next release will be in three years. So if there's a feature you don't have in three years, you don't just get it. You don't just get an update, you have to go and buy again. So it's like buying a CD or a DVD with a program on it or a movie or something. After three years, you have to go back and go and buy again if you want to upgrade. If you want to remain with 2010, like some people are still using 2010. I don't know why someone will still be using 2010 when we are in 2021. Sometimes the differences in the upgrades are not much or are not that visible or obvious. And the older versions can also do amazing work. But when it comes to a program like PowerPoint, the updated ones or the modern ones are way better than the older versions in so many ways. At least starting from 2013, there are so many things you can do in 2013 that the previous ones or the older versions cannot do. And of course, 2016 also offers some new features like the morphing and other, other effects. So for Office, I think you should try and get a more current version but at least 2016 is great 2016 is not bad at all now like i said before the office 365 
you subscribe to it and you are connected to the source so you are always using the most current version of each of their programs apart from that office 365 has over 25 office productivity software applications not just the office suite we would, which will give you about five or six or seven the office suite will give you word excel powerpoint access outlook will give you uh, onedrive and sometimes publisher and onenote that's what office suite will give you but office 365 gives you access to amazing programs one of the amazing programs is what i just opened to you called microsoft project it's an amazing one it is in office 365 if you don't have office 365 for projects you can get it as a standalone package and install like i have done you can also get visio microsoft visio as a standalone program and buy and like i was saying before for for 30 years now microsoft's office productivity programs have been leading the market 30 years ago word was the leader in word processing excel was the leader in spreadsheet management powerpoint was the leader in presentations 30 years ago if the work that microsoft did 30 years ago ruled the world in 30 years ago imagine what microsoft is doing right now as we speak with modern technology modern engineers more modern intelligence and modern systems and everything think of what microsoft is doing today so the office 365 gives you access to all that microsoft is doing today what is office 365 it's an integrated experience of apps and services designed to help you pursue your passion and grow your business get apps like word excel powerpoint and more updated monthly with the latest features and security updates. Use cloud-powered email to reach customers and coworkers wherever work takes you. Collaborate in Microsoft Teams, the new hub for teamwork, where you can chat, organize meetings, and share files. Save files to OneDrive with one terabyte of online storage, allowing access across devices and on the go. Run your business with the business apps, empowering you to manage customer scheduling, invoicing, referrals, and more, all from one place. Protect your data with 24-7 security and support backed by Microsoft. With Office 365, you have more time to build your business and achieve even more. When it comes to Office applications, and so there are a number of applications that you may not have heard of at all but they are all available in the office 365 and i think you should get some insight into office 365 i'll talk a little bit more about the office 365 but the office online gives you access to the office suite online so if you don't have microsoft word on your computer there's no problem at all you can still use microsoft word the same way all you have to do is to open your web browser connect your computer to the internet if you've not done that already you can just search on google for word online powerpoint online excel online and it will take you to their web page that has the online version you just have to create an account on their on their platform and just log in and you have access to office online this is 
when you don't have it installed because if you don't have it installed you can't use it but if you use the online version you can still use it so if there's a file on a computer and it doesn't have excel and you want to open it with excel just go to the excel online and open it you get access to excel the same way microsoft is doing an amazing job so let's talk a little bit about office 365 please can you see what's on the screen excellent so today we want to talk about office 365 office 365 and office 365 it says it's a subscription service that ensures that you always have the most up-to-date modern productivity tools from microsoft it is a subscription service it is not a software you buy download install and get updates later it's not a software that you can go to a supermarket and buy or an IT shop and buy their office suite you can actually walk into a supermarket or a shopping mall where they sell software and go and buy it on a CD they have uh, some nice packaging and you buy it and there's a CD inside for the office suites you can go and install and like I said the office suite is released every three years it is released in three years intervals so they released 2007 2010 2013 2016 and 2019 today we are in the year 2021 so the next office suite that will be released by microsoft will be 20 what 20 20 2022 your mouse is not good <laughs> so next year they will be releasing another office suite but the Office 365 is not like that. With Office 365, you subscribe to it from Microsoft and you have access to all their programs right from the source. And updates are done as and when updates come. You don't install any updates the programs are already updated before you use them so they are updated in real time so let me take you into office 365 and hopefully you will get a better understanding and know some of the programs in office 365 and i'll just i'll just give you an idea of one of your programs that at least will help you remember have you heard of yama huh? okay yama is one of the programs in office 365 this one too is a uh, teams Office 365 is the office you know and love, on the devices you use most, whenever you need it, and virtually wherever you are. Beginning with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, Office 365 provides all the familiar apps you've come to depend on, along with a dynamic set of cloud-connected tools that help you communicate, collaborate, and get more done. With the flexibility of the cloud, your files are never stuck on your computer at work or your laptop at home. Office 365 lets you share and sync documents virtually anywhere and anytime you're working. Stay nimble and stay in touch. 
See your team's calendars, know when they're online, send them an instant message, or even communicate face-to-face. -face. Better than that, work on the same document together in real time. You've got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and the rest of the Office family, all connected by cloud-driven features like co-authoring and video conferencing. Now combine that with automatic updates, a global network of expert support, and a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. And what you get is 365 24-7 possibilities. Get it done at office365.com. Personally, I think Office 365 is the best of Microsoft and is the best Microsoft has done for businesses and Office productivity solutions. If you're a business, and you want more powerful apps to get better results I want you to look into Office 365 look into it and discover which apps will help your business because some of these apps you may not have even heard of them and what they can do but they are Incredible. What they can do can transform your business. So at least get some education into Office 365. At least get some understanding of Office 365 so that you are at least aware of what Office 365 has to offer. All right, so I'm on the official Microsoft page for Office 365 subscription. And the first package you see here is a $5 per month basic package. And you can subscribe to this and pay $5 every month. And you get the basic. And the basic, I think they will just give you Teams. These are the programs you get Teams, Exchange, OneDrive, and SharePoint. $5 a month. So, if your business can afford $5 a month, at least you can use these programs. Teams is an amazing program. Maybe you've not heard of Teams. All you know is Excel or Word or, or PowerPoint. But there's another one called Teams, Microsoft Teams. We have Exchange, OneDrive, SharePoint. All right. Let's look at the next package. The next package here is a standard package of Office 365, $12.5 per month. So this is a subscription fee. All right. And this is business business package so if you pay $12 for per month you get access to a lot more in the office 365 release you have access to the famous outlook and I told you how businesses take outlook seriously so as students you have to learn more about outlook at least you have to start using outlook today using outlook is much easier than before before the configuration was more technical but now they've made things much easier we have word we have excel powerpoint publisher and access then we have access to teams exchange OneDrive and SharePoint. Let's try the $20 per month business premium package. And this gives you access to 
the famous outlook where the excel powerpoint access and publisher we also have teams exchange onedrive sharepoint intune azure information protection you see that intune didn't appear in the first video and i don't know if, if exchange was there but i told you there are some that they didn't talk about okay so i want to see the other apps i'm not seeing them here let me try and get the full list so that we can get a broader picture of Microsoft's Office 365. All right, so I actually let you do research into the Office 365 applications and pick five of the new applications and tell us their functions or their uses, what they are used for. So, um, All right, let's just look at this. Over here, we see Microsoft Teams. We see OneDrive. Have you used OneDrive before? You've used OneDrive. OneDrive is very common. OneDrive is an amazing program to use. It connects you to the uh, cloud service, cloud storage service. So with OneDrive, any work you do, you can drop it on OneDrive and have access on all your devices. So when I'm working here, I'm working from OneDrive and when I finish, I save my work on OneDrive and I have it here on my phone. I have it on my other devices instantly. So with OneDrive, you get access to their cloud service. So if your data is on the cloud you can access it from anywhere yeah so you don't have to get that particular machine before you get access to your all right so we have forms microsoft forms i don't know if you've used forms before they have power apps calendar they've incorporated a little bit of it in outlook but you can try calendar as well news feed people video so they have a program called microsoft video let me take it from here what do you see what do you see Dell. Dell. then 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 okay then we have mail which is our outlook then which one is this yes yeah, some of their programs are really powerful and you should try and learn about them they have flow OneNote, sharepoint excel word powerpoint do you see my project you see we didn't they didn't talk about projects in the other one i told you that there's another one called project they have visual and other programs this project it will amaze you if you understand what it does it will amaze you it will blow your mind and this project one interesting thing about microsoft project is that microsoft project was released in 1984 1984 and companies have been using it since 1984 and it has been the best 
project planning and project management program if you have a project to do you can use this program to plan your project and the program will tell you about how the project will be achieved step by step it will let you know who needs to do what it will let you know your total expenses for the project before you start it will tell you how long the project will take no matter the project whether it's construction or any project at all any work you want to do developing an app developing a site creating as creating a program any project you want to do even organizing an event or a party or whatever this program can tell you about how the work needs to be done who has to do what everything it's an amazing one she gets into it then we have planner and so much more at least you've had a number of office 365 programs so my goal here is to reveal office 365 to you because some of you may not hear about it for another five years and i don't want you to lose that i don't want you to lose that so at least from today i'll give you an assignment to do a little research into sway and yama and power bi and project and flow and teams at least so that you are aware if you are not aware that something like excel exists that means you never use it and what i'm doing right now will at least let you hear of some of the best programs out there for business for offices and for professionals and this is microsoft office when you go somewhere you hear microsoft delve and you have no clue about office 365 you fight with someone that there's no microsoft delve meanwhile we have microsoft delve can you see delve yes but you will see there's nothing like delve so if you didn't come to class today you will not get all this information that there's a program called yama and here yama you'll be laughing at the person meanwhile you are the one to be laughed at let me go through this list and see if i'll discover anything new outlook one note publisher access sway sharepoint yama skype skype is also part as of skype we all know skype teams onedrive delve my analytics you see power business intelligence bi power bi forms and more so this one too they didn't give us a lot but we still have we've, we've had some new ones all right so let me play a short video about microsoft teams then i will give you an assignment to pick five of them of the new ones and tell us their uses every individual is different and so is the case with every team As we think about productivity, we think about people and teams of people and what they can achieve and accomplish together. It's core to our mission of empowering every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. There is no universal tool for teams, but a rather a universal toolkit that we call Office 365. And today, 
we're adding a new tool and an experience to Office 365. Microsoft Teams, a chat-based workspace. Microsoft Teams delivers on four core promises to create a digital workspace. Chat for today's team, a hub for teamwork, customization options, and the security that teams trust. Teams is an entirely new experience. It brings together people and conversations and content, along with the tools that teams need so they can easily collaborate to achieve more. Hi everyone, so I have been living in Microsoft Teams for a while and it is so nice to be able to finally share this broadly. Now within a team, we have the idea of open conversation channels, so anyone on the team can jump in and join the conversation. The key here is that these are high velocity and highly collaborative in nature. So uh, let's dive into the Art and Media Festival channel and take a look at uh, the team chat experience. We're also seeing a ton of enthusiasm from customers. Uh, Andrew, why don't we start with you? Happy Sounds to. Good. Happy to. Well, I think Teams is going to be huge. It's going to be big. With the persistent chat, they can see anything that's transpired and while they were away. It really has snowballed. It really become viral across our collaborative environment. So customer service is central to what we do as an airline. And th that means giving them the right set of tools to be able to um, service customer in the best possible fashion. We can use this to increase productivity and creativity. It's that cockpit which I think is going to change the team experience. Starting today, Microsoft Teams is available as a customer preview uh, in 181 countries localized in 18 different languages. This is an experience that truly empowers every team. All right, so I think I've logged into the office online. So I mean, I'm on the main website office.com, and over here you can see some of the programs I have access to. Let me try one of them. So this is Word and I have access to this. Create a new blank document. Okay, so this is a Word online. So I have access to Microsoft Word online and I can use it just as the offline version. So this is how it looks like actually. So I can type my documents. I can type my documents, do my formatting, whatever I need to do, I can do it here. Then let me see Excel. I have access to Excel online. Maybe you can't see well, but it's looking perfectly okay, just like the original Excel. So this is Excel. So you can still use this even if you don't have Excel installed. I can type two, I can type three here, and over here I'll get the total equal to this plus this. Enter. I have my answer here so this is Excel just like the Excel the offline version okay so let's see if we can use more programs here so I can see uh, which one else PowerPoint is here right let's try PowerPoint 
and we have access to PowerPoint. This is just like the PowerPoint you want. You have access to the insert tab, the draw. Wow, this draw is only available in 2019. So that means the online version is a more up to date version. Designs, transitions. Let me see the transition. The morph is here. There are more transitions here. Animations, slideshow, all of this. Okay, fine. Okay. Let me see. So, let me check calendar. So this is exactly like what we have in Outlook where you plan your activities and your schedules with a calendar so this is also one of them all right now all these programs i'm using them online i'm using them online this is not the offline version this is online even if you don't have the offline you can still use all of these 